No more pity, no more compassion, no more sympathy, because that's not the way that people need to fucking learn. That is not what is necessary in this world full of soft ass, coddling, fucking weak ass minded people. Now, you could talk all this shit in the world on the other side of this camera. Who the fuck does he think he is? Ah, ah, ah. Bitch, I know who the fuck I am. I'm that motherfucker who did it, whether or not motherfuckers was with it or not. I healed myself. I'm no longer addicted to drugs like you bitch-ass fucking weak-minded souls. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here smashing and fucking destroying my goals. I'm increasingly becoming prosperous. In fact, I'm the most prosperous version of myself that has ever existed. Now, if you can honestly, to God, say that shit about yourself, then by all means, you probably wouldn't even be questioning why the fuck I'm talking the way I'm talking because you would have been through the mud on your own terms. Whatever you why your world is yours, we don't need no more pity. We don't need no more compassion. We don't need no more sympathy. Because all of you motherfuckers are basically looking for reasons and excuses to be failures when we need people to succeed. Nobody out here needs any more of that weak, soft, feminine bullshit. You need that feminine bullshit, go sit down and have a talk with your grandmother. You feel me? Go have a sit down with your moms and go suck on a supple nipple, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you why your world is yours. I'm to that point where it doesn't help anything. We give you the sympathy. We give you the compassion. We give you the empathy. We give you the understanding. And then what? You still suck. You still underperform. You still fail. You still tend to be less than average. Why do you why your world is yours? So you have to start to lean into just the hard truths of things. I looked at my life. I said, motherfucker, you suck. I remember sitting down face to face with one of my partners at the time. And I'm like, yo, I fucking suck. And I said that shit with so much glee and so much smile on my face that you would think that I lost my fucking mind. But in real life, I was so liberated by the dawning of the awakening that I fucking suck. And to this day, I think I suck. And this is what gives me the room to improve. Because once you can acknowledge you suck, that means you can acknowledge and identify a fault within yourself. And that means you can identify a weakness. And once you can identify a weakness, you can identify a problem. And once you can identify a problem, the best person is able to identify the fucking solution. And once you apply the solution, you have thoroughly achieved evolution. And it's really fucking like that so it all starts with recognizing that you motherfuckers suck i sucked i was smoking a jewel i was fucking doing salt fucking dip fucking tobacco on my lip at times i was drinking alcohol fucking drinking bottles of lambrusco you know what i'm saying playing video games watching pornhub you know what i'm saying i have minimum wage job all of these visions all of this quote-unquote knowledge like all you other hypothetical motherfuckers and then on my last fucking thought with COVID, sitting there thinking to myself, damn, bro, your life is really fucked right now. You out here basically popped. You got COVID. You could barely breathe. But here you are still smoking on this fucking invention that some motherfucker made to pry on your weakness. And you simply just cannot stop being such an emotionally fragile bitch as to save your own life because you can't even breathe, but you're still smoking these toxic chemicals. And that's a lot of y'all's situation. So at the end of the day, don't just look at it like, well, he, I just explained it in high detail. You feel me? But that's what your situation is in most, ca most cases and scenarios. Y'all niggas be broke. Y'all niggas got nothing going on. Y'all got a whole bunch of visions and goals and y'all are not actually living y'all lives. You feel me? So at the end of the day, a lot of y'all is like how I was and y'all haven't made the decision to fully let go of everything Thing and be your fullest self. Whatever you why your world is yours, you have to wake the fuck up. A lot of y'all will take this information, a lot of y'all will take this energy, and because you're so adamant on not being accountable and responsible, you're gonna feel insulted when you should really feel consulted. Whatever you why your world is yours, you can feel insulted by this serious love, actual love. Or you can feel directly loved and consulted as if this was a consultation, you feel me, for you to get your life together. Whatever you are, your world is yours. You're the only one that lives the suffering life. You're the only one who has to live depressed, who has to live anxious, who has to look in the mirror knowing that you're not a whole person, look in the mirror knowing that you're not being the truest version of yourself, look in the mirror and seeing your life slowly but surely go down the drain, and it's really like that. We freed ourselves. We healed ourselves. We're continuously, increasingly becoming our fullest self, actual self. You feel me? So at the end of the day, 
We're inviting you to join the lituation. We're inviting you to join the level up. We're inviting you to evolve with us. Now, if you choose to be a dumb fuck, sit on the sidelines and be a fucking hater, then you're going to be the mediocre one because it's been y'all theory against mine for a little bit, right? It's only been about three years or so. You know what I'm saying? Going on three years. It's been y'all theory against mine, right? A lot of y'all are still in the same place or even worse, Whatever you want, your world is just a lot of y'all stepped out like cockroaches and rats and rodents, and y'all motherfuckers is back in the crevices, in the crevasses of life. Whatever you are, your world is yours. And we are here. Take a view. Clays is over there. You know what I'm saying? More muscular than ever, existing as the most prosperous rendition of myself in my whole entire life that has ever existed. Now, a lot of y'all cannot say that. You should be able to say that if you were living in alignment with true principles. But seems to me that a lot of motherfuckers want to be stupid and play stupid. Now, A, I love y'all to the maximum, so I'm never going to turn off my authenticity because pity, compassion, understanding, sympathy, those things never helped me grow in the first place. I needed to be raw, authentic, blunt, direct, and to the fucking point about what the fucking problem was so that I could just dive in and address it directly. I was the problem. My habits were the problem. My mindset was the problem. Me allowing other people to have power over me through my renditions of fucking interpretation, aka rationalizations, aka making excuses and blaming other people was my fucking problem. I said, you know what? These motherfuckers don't want to do it. I'm going to do it. Motherfuckers ain't going to help me. Fuck it. I'll do it myself. All of these videos y'all see me making on my, on my YouTube, on my fucking everything, my pictures, the high, everything, me. Creative directed me, shot by me, produced by me, edited by me, uploaded by me, DMs by me, post fucking captions by me, everything by me. Everything is coming from Shiki Chic. Why do you why your world is yours by himself? So at the end of the day, fully entrepreneur out here, you feel me? And that takes so much more than being a fucking employee. But you employees got it so easy because y'all got to go to work. Don't even think too much. You know what I'm saying? Don't even think at all, really. You know what I'm saying? Get money and y'all just be done with this shit. I be trying to teach y'all the whole time, but you know, it just seems to me that a lot of people rather just be less. But if that's not you, then tap in. Whatever you are, your world is yours. I want y'all to win. I need y'all to start operating at y'all greatest heights. You know what I'm saying? Not for my benefit, but for the world's benefit. You know, my greatest pain is walking around and seeing that people are just operating at very fucking deplorable and despicable levels of human potential. You know what I'm saying? So me winning is not about me getting the condo, about me having a fly whip, about me walking around dripped out in diamonds and all that other shit. That's not the win to me. The win to me is the impact on individuals' lives to see them actually live their best possible potential. Because once you start to operate in your highest frequency, you then become a great servant and you deliver the cosmos a gift, you as a gift, and all the talents and all the genius and all the things otherwise that would have been staying inside dormant and kept away because of your selfish ass, low level ass tendencies. Whatever you are, your world is yours. I want y'all to evolve. We need more people to be themselves so that we can actually exist in the universe that's supposed to be if you didn't have the free will to choose to not be. To be or to not be. That's not the fucking question anymore. Either be that shit or be a fucking bitch. Why do you why your world is yours? I'm the most gutter out this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the real, the raw, and the authentic. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's real motherfuckers in the game. And you know what I'm saying? You already know off top is real respect. But you know what I'm saying? Gutter guru off top. We doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? We ain't changing nothing for nobody. If they don't get it, they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? But... The evolution just can't stop. The prosperity can't stop. They think that they got it. Let's see what happens in another three years. Let's see what happens in another four years, in another 10 years. Because this shit, this shit works. Nonstop growth, infinite gains and zero losses, bitch. You know what I'm saying? In your world, hmm, a lot of losses, a lot of maybe gains. And then those maybe marginal gains get lost real quick with your big ass back steps. Yeah. Feel insulted hmm, or feel consulted because... I love y'all at the end of the day, and everything behind my intention is one massive amount of love. And if you can't see that, it's because you just don't have love in your heart, and you don't have love in your soul, and you don't know what it really means to love. Because as my greatest teacher, one of my greatest teachers ever taught me, love ain't lies, homie. And it's really like that. Whatever you are, your world is yours. 
You know what I'm saying? Hop on the program, get around the mindset, and start to do shit. Don't just come on the program to talk to me, motherfucker. That shit corny as fuck. Keep your money. I don't need another motherfucker to waste my time talking to if you're not going to change your life and become what we need you to be. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Evolution, only solution. Fucking self-mastery, only success. Discipline, the only freedom. And discipline is the only self-love. Because if you're not disciplining yourself, then you're doing some other shit. And you're doing some other shit that's not your best shit. Then you really don't love yourself. Whatever you are, your world is yours. It's really like that. Y'all know the vibes. Consider the vibrations raised always and forever.